Yo, 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 what is up guys, Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to join our Discord server. So anyways, let's get started with today's video. We are going to be installing and testing out the Giraffe Tools Grandfall pressure washer machine. So let's go check it out. So we got the pressure washer unboxed right here. I'll go ahead and show you guys what you get in the box. But before we get started, just want to let you guys know we are doing a huge giveaway. In fact, I'm giving away this exact same pressure washer. We got another one right here. So shout out to Giraffe Tools. They were nice enough to send me a second pressure washer to give to one of you guys. So everyone who drops a comment down on this video will be entered into the drawings to get selected to take this pressure washer home. So US residents only, sorry, I'm gonna have to pay for shipping out of pocket to ship this to you. So US only guys, but just drop a comment and I'll let you guys know when I'm gonna select the winner and we'll go from there. So thank you Giraffe Tools. All right, so in the box, pretty much unboxed it, set it all on the table right here. We got the pressure washer itself comes pre-assembled like this with the hose and reel all attached, pretty much ready to go. On the side over here, we got the power outlet plug, a uh, six foot cable, which is pretty nice. Over here, we have the inlet for your water hose. And yeah, so that's pretty much the pressure washer itself. This is a hundred foot cable, which is very long, plenty long for what I'm gonna need because you can see this garage is pretty short and you guys know my driveway is only like two car lengths long. So this will be nice when pressure washing the cars, doing car washes or washing parts, stuff like that. Over here we have the mounting bracket, which looks very simple. Looks like we're just gonna be putting four screws into the wall to hold this on. Probably gonna put it around right here. Just gotta, oh, not that way, actually that way. And then the pressure washer will just slide on on the back. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So installation looks like it's gonna be a breeze. Uh, just a matter of finding the stud location. They do give you, looks like these drywall anchors. But for me personally, I'm gonna run at least two of these screws into a stud to feel safer holding this thing on. Cause this thing weighs not too much but putting this in four drywall screws um, it's gonna have me a little bit worried. I don't want it falling off the wall. But anyways, back to the contents it comes with. We got a hose right here. This will run from the side to plug into your water hose. We have the pressure washer gun itself. Comes with this little adapter handle right here so you can put all the attachments in. Got a nice little trigger as well as a safety to make sure that it doesn't get activated on accident. Comes with this, pretty cool actually. This is an attachment to go in line through the pressure washer. So say when you're washing your car, you can actually add soap into here and it'll shoot the soap onto your car or whatever you're washing off as well as the water. So that's kind of cool. We got the hardware kit. We got the hose adapter. This I believe will screw on over here and then your hose Common water hose should just screw right into there. Even has a nice little mesh filter. Filter out any debris from going into the pressure washer itself. We have four nozzle attachments. So we have basically the different angle, degree, and how much pressure you're gonna get out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like the widespread and as it gets smaller, it's gonna be more pressure. And eventually I'm assuming this red one is just gonna be a solid pinhole water spray line when you're getting off like really tough stains, stuff like that. You got a nice little baby level. Make sure you touch your bracket correctly and level. And we have the instruction manual. So that's what you get in the box, guys. Really nice, because it looks like it's gonna be straightforward. Bolt this up to the wall, slide the pressure washer onto this, and plug everything in and attach the water hose and you're good to go. So pretty excited to install this and test it out. I'm thinking about installing it right here in this corner, right in this area. Uh, I just need to find where the studs are so I can get it securely mounted. And then we could go test it out. So I'm not gonna bore you guys too much with the installation. I'm sure you guys can figure it out yourself. Four screws, depending on what you're going into, drywall, studs, pre-drill the holes. Drill this bracket on 
to wherever you want to hang it. And the nice thing about this is the bracket will just stay there wherever you have it, but there's no locks or anything. You literally just slide the pressure washer onto the bracket and then you can remove the pressure washer and store it away. Say you want to install this outside somewhere where it's going to be in the elements. You don't want to have it just sitting out in the sun all the time. You can just remove it from the wall pretty, pretty easily. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature along with the 100 feet of hose um, up to 2200 PSI. It's pretty strong for an electric pressure washer. Uh, I did forget price on this. It runs about 300, 309 US dollars. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. So again, I'll leave the link to this product in the description down below. So yeah, 2200 PSI max working pressure at about 2.1 gallons per minute. So that is pretty much the specs for that. This is what you get in the box. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install this bracket onto the wall and then we'll pick up again on the video of me sliding this thing onto the bracket and testing it out on the car. All right guys, well, had to go replace my water hose. Garden hose is leaking, but right now we got it hooked up. Water is on, plugged in temporarily right now. We got the power switch right here. That's in the off position. It's in the on position. What's kind of cool I noticed about this is it doesn't kick on unless you're actually using it. So it doesn't just stay making noise because it does make quite some noise. Nothing too crazy, but still makes some noise. So we'll go ahead and pull it out a little bit. And I'll show you guys it in action. So this is with the, I believe it's the 40 degree. Yeah, so this is gonna be with the 40 degree attachment on. Pretty strong, nothing too crazy. I mean, that was the probably the weakest attachment. That one's kind of just for general purpose, but you guys saw I was able to blast these rocks out of here, which I didn't mean to do, but. So decent pressure, especially just washing the car. You don't want too much pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and slap the strongest attachment, the zero degree opening, which is pretty much just a straight line. You can see we have the different ones, but we'll just put on the red one so you guys can see how strong it actually is. So we'll just go ahead and pop this one off. Quick release. It's nice too because it comes with this little holder to hold all your attachments. So we'll go ahead and put this one on. And there we go. One thing though, make sure it's in all the way. I didn't have the first one in all the way when I first tried it, it just popped it out. So you want to make sure you're not pointing that at anybody. But let's try this one out. So you can see that one has a little bit more power and I'm pretty impressed actually. For a lot of stuff around the house, you won't really be needing too much pressure. I would say I wish it kind of was a little bit stronger because sometimes when I go to clean parts, stuff like that, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more pressure than that. But for like everyday household stuff, washing your car, washing off your driveway, uh, typical home stuff. I think this has plenty of power. 
Another quick about the quick reel. This thing's pretty awesome. This is probably my favorite feature because once you're done, you just wind it back up and you don't got to worry about storing the hose up anywhere, reeling it up yourself. You just pull it and slide it in. So I'll go ahead and pull it out full extension right now and we can see it retract. All right, well, we got full extension. We got a hundred feet of hose hanging out now. You can see, for me at least, that is plenty of hose length. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it back up now. See how efficiently this works. Fully maxed out. That was actually quite a breeze. So I got the soap attachment on right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out. Wash the Prius down, see how it works. pretty cool and I didn't really wash the car I just kind of sprayed soap on it but it's too hot I'm just gonna rinse it down <laughs> So I guess that pretty much sums up our video. Um, kind of wish I maybe mounted a little bit more to the left because with the attachments in this kind of little tight area, couldn't really get the hose with that. I would have to put the adapter on after. So it doesn't really make sense. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. But the auto reel is probably like the coolest feature on this because it makes it so much easier and you can just use it, put it away, disconnect your hose and Call it a day. So here in my garage, I'm never gonna have to move it. So I don't need to worry about taking it off the wall or anything. So overall, I guess satisfied with the spot I put it in. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video if you made it this far. And thank you Giraffe Tools for sending out this pressure washer. So uh, my two cents at the end uh, for everyday home use, washing the car, like I said, washing the kids, washing your driveway, washing whatever you wanna wash. This is honestly a great alternative to a gasser, uh, being that it's a little bit more quiet, a little bit more ease of use. You don't have to worry about draining the gas out and stuff. You just plug it in and go. Um, the auto reel, kind of like the air hoses we have, are is a really awesome feature about this. I like how it doesn't stay running the entire time. It only kicks on when you turn the power on. Um, I do wish the pressure was a little bit stronger because I could see myself maybe trying to clean like some rough grease oil stains. Um, you might be kind of sitting there for a while with this, but other than that, I'd give it a thumbs up guys. So that's all I got for you guys and I'll catch you guys later.